In this lesson, we will try to refactor a controller, controller method, which is pretty big, and refactor that into layers of uh, validation services and all of the classes that the code belongs to, uh, instead of being in a controller. In other words, controllers should be shorter, and we will have an example of how to shorten one method. Uh, it's a fictional example. I won't even launch that code, but uh, we will go step by step and move that code to somewhere else. So here we have a typical update method on resourceful controller. So we have a post ID, we have a request, and then we update the post and do some more magic. Uh, and again, example is fictional, but pretty typical and pretty close to real life. So what we're doing first is we're finding post. And if we don't find, we abort to 404. Uh, first thing we can shorter is do find or fail. So that it would be the same thing as doing checking if it's 404 or it exists. But even shorter thing, we can use route model binding. So instead of post ID, <coughs> we will type in post and do post here. And that's it. Uh, so, uh, assuming that you have in your routes, in routes web, you have route resource and it's resourceful controller, then Laravel will know that uh, post means uh, you need to find the post object by ID. If it's any other uh, field that not ID, you can change route model binding in, uh, in settings of that eloquent model. Okay, so first step done. We cannot, uh, we don't need to find the post. Okay, that's shorter. Then validation. Some people do validation in controller. I'm a big fan of form requests that actually validation belong to somewhere else. So we, let's make a request file. PHP artisan make request update, no post update request. Okay, post update request. We have a new file and post update request authorized with safe, safe to true uh, and we move post text required rule to this array. And then instead of doing all of that, we're doing instead of request, we're doing post update request. And then that request file takes care of all the validation. You can have more rules here. And then we can delete all of that section with validation. So if it doesn't, if it isn't valid, uh, then it will return back with errors. And then we can remove this one and remove this one. Okay, shorter already, right? So then we're doing post update. And this is not thing that can be shortened too much. Of course, you can do more logic here, like request only the fields like post text and something like that. But uh, it's pretty typical example of request all being passed to the post. So this is okay, we're leaving it here because that's the main thing that that update function does. It's updating. Uh, next, this part is a fictional example of, for example, post has several authors with many-to-many -many relationship and for all the authors we need to update uh, update the record of words count per author. Let's assume that author table has words count um, field. Actually, it's missing one function. So something like that. And this something tells me that that doesn't belong to this controller. It should be somewhere else. So some logic, some um, some layer, some class that should observe the the update uh, functionality, and then uh, and then do all that logic. So let's create an observer for that. Uh, PHP artisan make observer post observer. I think uh, it's this lot, this syntax, if I'm not mistaken. Observer created successfully. Okay, so we have app observers, post observer, and it works with our post because we specified that. And then we can move this to updated. So updated uh, event happens, and then we have post as a parameter, and then we can do the same logic here in observer. Uh, and we need to register that observer. I think it's in app service provider, um, or is it in route service provider? Actually, let's Google that. That's the uh, beauty of uh, 
of almost live coding, you will see that I don't remember everything by heart. I'm Googling as any normal human being. So observer, we have an observer class, blah, blah, blah. App service provider, we need to register that. Yep. So, no, it's not copy and paste. Uh, it's an app service. PHP Storm almost crashed on me now. Uh, PHP this. So post observe and then class will be post observer class. Yep, we've registered it. And now it should observe the, uh, the post updated method. But not even that, even this uh, looks a little long to me. Uh, and even for each doing the posts, uh, yeah, it doesn't feel right. For me, it should be a service. So a service functionality, uh, in my opinion, service is a class that calculates something. So in this case, it's pretty simple logic, but in reality, it could be much more complicated. So let's create a separate service, uh, new directory services. Then we have a new file, let's call it post service PHP uh, and then inside of it we do PHP class post service and we can do anything here so function calculate uh, author words for example and then author is the parameter uh, and instead of doing that in the observer we do that uh, this one, no, that part, okay. So we take it here. So for each author post, return words count, this. And then instead of doing words count here as a parameter, as, as a variable, we will do uh, actually service. So post, one more thing. Yet forgotten namespace app services okay and let's assume it's it will be a parameter so it be it will be auto loaded here unused parameter so we will do post service calculate author words author uh, so this way we will use two patterns here uh, of course parameter is missing Program post service post service. This one. Uh, so we use two patterns here. Instead of doing uh, the calculation in a controller, it will be caught by observer, which in turn use the service to, for some calculation. Again, it's a pretty simple example. In this example for this project, probably I wouldn't use a service for one or two lines of code. But you get the point that it does make sense to use that if you have more complicated logic for some calculation. It shouldn't be in a controller and it shouldn't even be in an observer because observer should be also catching the logic, catching the event and loading the logic to somewhere else. So, okay, we've taken care of the updating the, uh, the statistics, some kind of statistics. And then final thing is sending an email to administrator that the post was updated. So instead of uh, catching this one, we will do notification class. Uh, it's in Laravel, it's artisan make notification, uh, post updated notification. I'm a big fan of doing suffixes in all the classes that it's not just post updated, it's post updated notification. So class name and file name would, ex uh, would tell you exactly what it, what it does. So to mail, instead of that, I will do to mail. And instead of doing this, I would do um, admin. So, okay, this if admin, then admin notify and class would be that post updated notification I think it's this syntax since I won't launch this code it's not really important to catch the syntax but let's take a look at uh, add documentation 
official documentation, Laravel notifications. It's cool to see my own website in Google search and Google Admin Panel. Uh, anyway, notify, what's the syntax? Yeah, new invoice page, so new class. Uh, new post updated notification, and let's say that the parameter will be post, and in that class we should have a constructor post post, then we should have private uh, private post, then do dependency injection. It's not exactly dependency injection, but it's uh, injecting the parameter via controller, via constructor. And then inside of mail message, uh, we can use um, line action, for example, post was updated, updated, and then have this post uh, name, for example, something like that. Uh, and in a controller, we just uh, load the notification to admin. And even this can be shortened. I think that sending the notification or updating uh, someone, it's a job because it could be queuable. So instead of instead of sending the email, and in this case, user will actually uh, will actually wait for that email to to be sent. We will do a job. Uh, so artisan make job send post updated job. Uh, actually, yeah. Well, yeah. Let's call it this way. So make job. We have the jobs new file send post updated job and handle is this one. And let's move all the logic into here. So post updated notification should be here now. And post is a parameter handle post. We will get to that. So user should be also in here. Uh, and post should be a parameter. So post should be also in a constructor. Post, post. Then we have a private variable, private post. We resolve it here. This post equals post. And then this post is a parameter. Uh, right, so this is good, and in a controller, all we need to do is dispatch, dispatch, a job which is uh, new post updated, send post updated jobs, a uh, job with a parameter post. Mm -hmm. Let's double check the syntax again, Laravel jobs dispatch. Uh, dispatching jobs, dispatch, yeah, there are, there's syntax to dispatch the class like this one, yeah, but I think dispatch is also dispatching job, yeah, um, this is of closure, yeah, anyway, I think that should work. Uh, and I guess that's it. It's not even that. Actually, even this dispatch could be moved to our observer. So post observer update this one. So we are observing the change, uh, calling a job. That job could be queuable. And inside of that job, we call the notification class. And, and yeah, so look at our controller now. We don't need these, we don't need these, we don't need any, anything here. So, controller method has two lines, update the, the code and redirect back. And all the logic is behind the scenes, doing the notifications, doing the checks, doing the validation, some calculation in service, uh, queuing the job to send a notification to admin, actually looking for that admin, everything is behind the scenes. So that is my way and my example to move the logic from the controller, shorten the controller to do exactly what it does. And then all the logic is in these uh, classes. And every, every class has its own logic. And uh, if you know Laravel pretty well, you will know where to find it. Where is the job, where is notification, where is observer, and where is the service. So this is the example of refactoring controller into shorter one.